How do you get a bikini body? Step one, have a body. Step two, put a bikini on it. Done. Unfortunately, some people think there's more to it. One thing that I like to do is embroidery. The back of an embroidery project is supposed to look a little bit like this. And my grandmother's projects actually do look like this. Mine look a little bit more like this. And sometimes this makes me feel as if my projects are less valuable. This can go as far as to make me give up projects because I'm unhappy about their current state, even if it's just their back that looks bad. In the end, when I do manage to finish one, even if they aren't perfect, they're still better than doing nothing. These were two examples of how perfectionism can ruin a perfectly fine thing. We all probably know the paralysis that a blank page can cause, often because of perfectionism. Sitting down at beginning is the hardest part, and the first draft doesn't need to be perfect. As a visual reminder of this, I wanted to hang a quote above my desk. Perfect is the enemy of the good. But I wanted to make it aesthetic. But I didn't know how to make it perfect. And that's why I have no such picture near my desk. See the irony? I've decided I'm gonna hang this over my desk. Is it cute? No. But it proves a point. Sometimes you need to keep it simple and just do it.